26-year-old Tanya Kwiatkowski getting ready to cap a long and rewarding career. She thought that career may be over after missing the podium at Nationals and a spot on the Olympic team. Brent Musburger takes a closer look at this eclectic young woman. It was a heartbreaking finale to a 22-year amateur skating career. Tanya had the experience and the fan support, but mistakes cost her a spot on the U.S. Olympic team. I think that's something that I'll look back on and say, you know, I didn't give up. And um, it was hard. I cried. Tanya chose to make peace with her failure by moving forward. Good girl. Excellent. As a coach Good. and a skating commentator, she found new rewards that helped ease the pain. Four revolutions in the air, and it's very difficult, but it's very important in the men's. I was on to this new thing, and it, it made it a, a lot easier to sit there with other people and worry about other things besides what this not only what the skaters were doing but what I had to do that evening when I was on the news the call to fill in for Tara Lipinski came first <laughs> and then then I didn't sleep that night I was up until two or three in the morning just because I was like oh my god I'm going to world oh my god she has one last chance for satisfaction at these championships she brings perspective you learn something from every competition you're at, whether it's good or if it's disappointing. You learn from it, and then you go on. And I think this is a wonderful opportunity. I was lucky enough to have a second chance to come out and compete against the top skaters in the world. And I feel like I'm really prepared for it. Representing the United States, Tanya Kwiatkowski. New life and one final opportunity for this college graduate. And right before Tanya Kwiatkowski took the ice, her coach, Carol Heiss Jenkins, said to her, relax, have fun, and enjoy yourself. Step out, but a very neat, tight jump, but a step out between the two, and that'll be a lesser deduction. Triple flip. Now that's a, a jump of greater difficulty than what most of the other women have been doing. together in so many ways, so many aspects. Costumed beautifully, choreographed very carefully, extremely well prepared. Nice aggressive layback spin. Well, I think a very creditable performance Unfortunately, one step out. There's her father. Oh, <laughs> I have a feeling that it's tears in his eyes.
got to be a satisfying open. Oh, yeah. For this world championship for her. And she looked so nervous when she took the ice. But look at this. Now, the, what how straight the edge going in is, and the foot straight behind her. That's the right kind of toe pick. That's the right kind of pole vault that you should do. Broadview Heights, Ohio, her hometown. And no matter what comes up on the scoreboard right now, you got to believe Tanya Kwiatkowski and Carol Heist Jenkins, Lynn Watts, her coaches, very proud. Oh, my, look at that. Ho, ho, ho. How can you get a 4-3 from the Hungarian judge? I wonder what it was that she's basing that on. From 4-3 all the way up to 5-5. Five, 5-5. Five. Five, five. That's the biggest, the biggest spread I think I've ever seen in figure skating. But these marks are, are very nice. That was a very complete, put-together program. I think it deserved more. We'll get more on that when we come back. Michelle Kwan, though, the leader right now. Anna Reshnia of Poland in second place. Lutskaya and Butirskaya, the third and fourth place position at this point. More of the short program when we return. Let's have a warm welcome now.